This video is supported by AC Infinity. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? Bass Drop Keys, your friendly neighborhood, Negro. And in today's video, we're gonna do an unboxing for the brand new AC Infinity Ion Frame Evo 6 LED Grow Light. Now, you guys know the AC Infinity sponsors me. So if you decide to get this grow light or any of the other great AC Infinity products for yourself, use the code Base Drop Keys. That will give you a 10% discount on any order at acinfinity.com. The Ion Frame Evo grow lights are their brand new bar style grow lights. And what's so great about them is they have Samsung's brand new LM 301H Evo chips in them. As you guys probably already know, the LM301H chips from Samsung have a great efficacy, 3.1 U-moles. The brand new LM301H Evo chips that's in these lights has an efficacy that's even higher than that at 3.14. Now there's five different ion frame Evo lights that you can choose from, Evo 3, Evo 4, Evo 6, Evo 8, and Evo 10. The Evo 3 is a 280 watt light. The Evo 4 is a 300 watt light. The Evo 6, which you're looking at right here, is a 500 watt grow light. The Evo 8 is a 730 watt. And the Evo 10 at max power is a 1000 watt grow light. And I mean actually pulling 1000 watts out of the wall. But this is the Evo 6. It's a 500 watt light and I'm gonna be putting it up in my AC Infinity 4x4 tent. For the Evo 6, in the vegetative stage, this light can handle a 5x5 area, but for the flowering stage, it's made for a 4x4 grow space, and that's why I'm putting it up in my 4x4 grow tent. You guys saw me unbox the light, it's super easy. One thing I immediately like about this light is you don't have to put the bars on. On some companies, you actually have to put the light together yourself. With this Evo 6, you just take it out of the box, unfold it, and then it's basically ready to go. You just gotta put on the driver. Speaking on that, let me give you a look at the driver. And here are some of the other components that came with it. Now, just a second ago, I showed you on the light where exactly you need to hook it in so that you can raise it up in your grow space. I do wanna mention that this light does come with wire hangers, but if you use four ratchet ropes instead of using the hangers, you can actually raise the light higher up in your grow space. So I never end up using the wire hangers that come with grow lights because I'm always trying to save space. So what I do is I'll take the four ratchet ropes, put them on each corner of the light and raise it up just like that. One thing that you will have to do is you have to put the feet on the driver, but it's super easy. It just goes on with four screws. Once you have that done, you're gonna put the driver on top of the bars and then the screws on the side will screw in and that's what's gonna tighten it up to the bars and hold it into place for you. Now, one of the other accessories that came with the light is the controller. With the controller, it has a magnetic back so you can put it on your plate that's on the outside of your tent if you want to, or you can just put it right on the light itself because it's magnetic. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the cord that comes with the light, you're gonna plug it in the driver, and then you're gonna plug it in the side of the controller. And like I said, you could attach it right to the light itself or put it on the metal plate outside. Another thing that's great about this light is it is also a part of the UIS system from Ace Infinity. What that means is you can actually plug it into your 69 controller. Doesn't matter if you have the 69 controller or the 69 controller pro, the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth when it doesn't matter. You can plug the light right into there just like you can with the inline fans, the circular fans, the humidifiers, all the products that's a part of the UIS system. You can plug all of those products into your controller as well and control it that way. But I do wanna mention that you can do everything right with this controller cut it off, cut it on, set schedules, do the sunset, sunrise. You can basically control this light in every way with the little controller that they give you for the light. So bam, there it is. That's how easy it is to unbox and set up the Ion Frame Evo 6 grow light. 
Now that we have the light unboxing set up, let me go ahead and tell you guys that we're gonna be trying this light out. You guys know me. You guys know that I don't just come on and just give you numbers and that's it. We actually gotta use this light to do a grow and see how great it is. So this video is episode one of season four of the Infinity Grow. Now you guys have already seen and know about the four x four AC Infinity tent that I'm using. You guys know that I have the big T8 inline fan and carbon filter combo in this tent. It's definitely overkill for this tent, but you guys know that's the inline fan that I have in here. This is the equipment that we're gonna be using for season four of the Infinity Grow. In episode two, I'm gonna cover the auto pot system that I'm using for this grow, what strain I'm gonna be growing, and I'll be covering at least the first month of veg. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. If you wanna check out the new lights for yourself, hit up acinfinity.com and don't forget to use base drop keys as your coupon code to get 10% off. I really appreciate all of you. And until I see you guys the next time, peace and good eats. I'm out guys. Much love.